Accuracytometers is a life science research tools company. We're located in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we actually make an instrument that's used by life scientists worldwide to figure out um, how cells are working. We started this company as a literally a small group of two of us at my kitchen table. Uh, my business partner, Jenna Baird, and I started exploring some opportunities through the University of Michigan's Tech Transfer Office. Uh, they had a couple of projects, one of which was for a small microflow cytometer technology. The technology that we needed to develop to make such an innovative flow cytometer required a tremendous amount of engineering expertise, which we have in absolute abundance in this area. And we've had no problem finding really great, very talented and skilled technicians uh, to actually go about building the instruments. And we moved from my kitchen table to some shared office space and then ultimately to our own space here in this building. And even this building, we started out with one corner and eventually took over the full building. And the other thing we've done is expanded to Europe. We've set up an office uh, in the UK, just north of Cambridge. Uh, that office now has uh, four field staff and six office staff, which is helping to also grow our business. So a natural progression of our company um, to where we are today, where we have a full production line. It's been running for over a year now, almost a year and a half, shipping cytometers literally all over the world. Starting from the ground up with a new technology, we were able to throw away a lot of assumptions and say, okay, what's the core of what a cytometer does? A cytometer has electronics, it has optics, it has fluidics in it. All those pieces come together to focus a laser on a small stream of particles moving in a very, very tiny space that's about a fraction the size of a human hair. So we said, okay, we know that that's the essence of what a cytometer is, now what's the best way to actually accomplish that? We knew how the industry did it, but we said we didn't like that approach because it was either too large or too expensive or too high maintenance. So we spent a lot of time inventing new ways of building cytometry and taking what used to be an instrument the size of a large copy machine and shrinking it down to something the size of a microwave oven. At the same time, reducing the complexity of the instrument, reducing the maintenance required, reducing the cost, and making an instrument that's so easy to use that even the novice person in cytometry can use it. C6 we see as being a revolution in the market space. It takes technology that has been restricted and people haven't had good access to and puts it in the hands of the researcher on their bench in a much more powerful, easy to use and accessible way. We've taken what used to be a mainframe computer and given them the PC equivalent in the cytometry world. And we would expect in the future to have them in emergency rooms and other clinical settings in a much more full way and that's exciting. Yeah.